Overview of the Interdisciplinary Unit. Interdisciplinary instruction has been around since the beginning of formal and, and frankly informal education. Inter meaning between or among and disciplinary meaning relating to specific disciplines provides us with a term that suggests the interconnected teaching of multiple subject areas. Edutopia, a resource from the George Lucas Education Foundation, has a wonderful repository of resources related to integrated studies, and they define interdisciplinary this way. It brings together diverse disciplines in a comprehensive manner, enabling students to develop a meaningful understanding of the complex associations and influences with a topic. As an added bonus, when we teach in an interdisciplinary format, learning is more engaging, which means students are more motivated to participate and learn deeply. And the interconnected approach creates a fantastic opportunity for 21st century skills like communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. An interdisciplinary unit must have teachers from multiple disciplines collaborating with each other. There are some content areas that regularly align with each other social studies and language arts, or science and math. But there are also specialty schools that are integrating all the subject areas through a specific lens, such as the arts or STEM or STEAM. Being able to be true to the standards and critical elements of your content, while also showing how it relates to broader themes, problems, or contexts, is a necessary element of learning in today's world. An interdisciplinary unit has both shared and individual subject area learning targets. Not all of the disciplines have to be connected to all of the learning targets, but all of them are shared between at least two disciplines. Lastly, this type of instruction may have shared assessments, which is a reasonable outcome of shared learning targets. Also, there are times when shared instruction makes sense. Classes come together into the auditorium, or groups of students are taught through a video chat with another classroom so that they can share a guest speaker or hear the same directions together. Those elements are not required, but they often happen in interdisciplinary units. Often, having an example can really help to make learning more clear. Here's an example of the GIOs that might happen in a 10-day interdisciplinary unit called The Journeys We Go On. It's a shared theme between business, art, and language arts. You'll notice that all of the subjects are taking ownership of that first GIO. Consider how choices impact outcomes. That's a very broad and important concept. And talk about your life lessons. Each of the remaining GIOs are shared between only two of the disciplines. Take a minute to pause the video and read the other GIOs. It worked out nicely that each of them share two others. It doesn't always work out that pretty, so don't be concerned if it's not so perfectly balanced when you create your interdisciplinary unit. The bigger concern is that the GIOs are reasonable and would be important for each discipline even if the unit were taught without integration. The topics that each discipline takes on as they work to meet those GIOs is very different. Again, being true to standards and critical content for each discipline is important. Every day in the classroom, or really anywhere, is precious, so we cannot waste learning time doing something that isn't purposefully connected to moving students forward. There are interdisciplinary units that are so forced they end up being silly. The art class does a coloring project and the math class makes a graph. Do your best not to do that. Make sure that the learning that is happening for each discipline is important. For this unit, students are working on goal setting and career planning. That sure sounds like a typical business class. And in language arts, students are working on analyzing the hero's journey in the Odyssey. And they'll work on writing a fictional narrative of their own about a journey. That's classic English class, right? And in art, students will be working through the creative process to plan, revise, and critique original pieces of art. Again, that doesn't sound too out there. However, what is special is that all of these topics will be taught with intentional connection to the shared GIOs we saw earlier. Every topic will have a connection to the journeys we go on. The assessment that will measure the SLOs and the GIOs are both individual and shared in this interdisciplinary unit. You can see the tasks that students will complete to show their mastery in each subject. But a special element is the shared assessment. Students will do some self-assessment about their own journey and growth through the unit and create a multimedia presentation to share their new understanding. Ideally, students would share connections that cross disciplines, right? The process that you will follow is one that practicing educators use. It's the backward design model. 
You'll start by determining your theme and your shared learning targets, or GIOs, with your colleagues from different disciplines. Determining a theme can often come through sharing what you love most about teaching your subject, or by looking together at the standards that each of your subjects use. Be sure that you are looking at the same grade level. Next, you'll make an assessment plan. You'll work together to determine if there can be shared assessments or if only individual ones will be used. There should be an intentional sequence of measuring and communicating student progress. Often this is done through small assignments, exit tickets, or quizzes, but self-assessment and other methods work well too. Lastly, your team will work alongside each other to develop your own classroom activities. In real life, you'd need lesson plans, but for this assignment, an explanation or framework of what's happening in each class session is enough. Each of you will want to include resources for media or technology that will enrich the learning opportunities for your students. The interdisciplinary unit is an assessment that culminates in the last module, but it's also broken up into pieces in draft form for several modules before that. The first portion you will complete is the theme and learning targets section. Paying attention to the rubric qualities will help your team. You'll need to show how your content and theme are relevant for students, provide GIOs and SLOs, and identify the standards to which your unit plan is aligned. Remember to only include the benchmarks that you believe are being measured, or make a note that you're providing instruction instead of assuring mastery. The second draft submission will be your assessment plan. You'll identify together how you plan to assess students and what your system will be for measuring progress. Be aware that the draft submission can be just an explanation, while the final interdisciplinary unit will need the test with the key or the authentic assessment with the rubrics to be created and included. Lastly, adding the classroom activities, the media or technology resources, and polishing the final document will happen in the final module. Along with going back to polish the theme, learning targets, and assessment elements, you'll want to work together to see if the plan you create is reasonable, not only from a teaching standpoint, but from a learning standpoint too. Do you have more learning or more assignments than a student can reasonably handle? Sometimes teachers get so excited about the curriculum they plan that they forget about the learner. <laughs>